We can't pick and choose when big decisions are foisted upon us by things that we didn't anticipate. The election is no reason uh, to dodge our responsibility and not go forward uh, with a well-qualified nominee. Our first job is to get the majority back and everything is on the table. My Senate Democratic uh, colleagues and candidates know America needs some change. And we're going to figure out the best way to do it. Supreme Court confirmation showdown, now the latest twist in the fight for Senate control. The GOP holds a three-seat margin now, but polls show Democrats threatening to flip several seats. So which party has the edge with five weeks to go? Here's Nate Silver with his new forecast. The 538 Senate model recently launched to address this very question, and the answer is that Democrats are favored to win the Senate, but just barely. Democrats have been polling quite well in a lot of Senate races, including purple states like Arizona and Colorado, where they were expected to do well but also in places like South Carolina and even Kansas and Montana and Alaska, which would be bigger upsets. So instead of having only a few targets, they have at least 12 legitimate pickup opportunities. But they also face some fairly difficult conditions. Most of the competitive races are in red states. In fact, there are only two Republican senators up for re-election this year. Those are Colorado's Cory Gardner and Maine's Susan Collins in states won by Hillary Clinton. And after Justice Ginsburg's passing, there will be a lot of scrutiny on everybody's vote to replace her. So Democrats need either three or four pickups to claim the Senate, depending on if they win the presidency. But that assumes they hold every seat of their own, which they probably won't. Democrat Doug Jones is an underdog in Alabama, where he's now facing former Auburn football coach Tommy Tuberville instead of Roy Moore. So we're probably talking about four or five pickups instead. Now, winning four or five out of 12 opportunities is very doable, but few of those races are sure things. In fact, one of the most likely outcomes in our forecast is a 50-50 mm -hmm. split. In which case, control of the Senate would come down to whether Kamala Harris or Mike Pence is the vice president in January. If you prefer to think in terms of probabilities, which of course we love at 538, Democrats have somewhere in the range of a 60 to 70% chance of flipping the Senate. That's not bad, but we do need to see more polling, especially in red states where a Supreme Court fight could be helpful to GOP incumbents. Hey folks, I predict that you're gonna either subscribe to our YouTube channel or watch some related videos, or both. Um, you can do both, but you can't do neither. So either subscribe or watch more videos.